It's that time of year to celebrate the best releases across the metal spectrum. Today, we look at the top 7 avant-garde metal albums of 2023. This is the third year we've run a celebration of the best avant-garde metal albums. We know your first question is, what constitutes avant-garde? In 2022, we gave you a bullet point list to define the criteria. This year, we're less rigid. Avant-garde is anything experimental with non-traditional elements. Last year, we decided to include pulse metal bands in this list. We reversed this decision for 2023 due to the overwhelming amount of quality albums released in this distinctive subgenre. Traditional forms of metal go through cyclical ups and downs. Our focus will intensify in 2024 on the more experimental forms of heavy music. There are no recognised leaders in the field of avant-garde metal because many of the qualifying artists are dions of other movements and subgenres. Some of them could even fall under the banner of progressive metal. Nonetheless, these are the Screen Blast Repeat Top 7 Avant-Garde Metal Albums of 2023. At number 7 we have English drone metal trio Orm with their self-titled debut. They released it on the 20th of April via Trepanation Recordings. This is a record that could succeed as a soundtrack to a fake snuff movie or as the background noise in your head when you have a spare hour for deep introspection. Nazarene is 41 minutes of patient audio meditation with a determination to avoid any semblance of melody. Imagine the extreme distortion that the autistic child sees in every social situation that might require their participation. You must unlearn every instinct you have for filling the silence with something of great presence. Verdict? 7 out of 10. At number 6, we have Norwegian Dream Metalers Grant the Sun with their album Voyage. They released it on the 9th of June via Maskina Recordings. It's a pleasure to dissect all eight compositions on Voyage. The lyrics make up less than three stanzas throughout the entire album, but the music is an expressive language of its own. You'll fail to notice the simple Black Sabbath coating of Sea Devil amid a whirling lens flare of ethereal melodies. The spindly strings of the downtuned bass hold the foundations together until they transition to a head-rolling mastodon riff for the climax. This is how you merge alternative rock, metal and shoegaze onto the same canvas with clarity and abstraction. Verdict? 8 out of 10. At number 5 we have Danish trio Ox with the Primordial Blues. They released it on the 18th of August via Nefarious Industries. Of course, 38 minutes of mathematical avant-garde metal can be exhausting. The illusion that you can make sense of it on repeat listens is what makes the Primordial Blues such a fascinating record. These are vain pretensions, but it's a credit to the quality of the music that it produces this belief in you. Who'd have thought that something so complex could be so enjoyable? Verdict? 8 out of 10. At number 4, we have For We Are The Plague by Gem and Weirdo's Malady. They release it on the 24th of November via Apostasy Records. Malady are too complicated and too distinctive to fit into any category. They could have delivered a 55 minute album and held back three of the songs here for a future EP, but why stop when you have momentum? For We Are The Plague would be unlistable for its sheer length alone if a death metal record or a tired piece of a tone of black metal. But it's the complete opposite. Like Edge of Sanity's classic Crimson album, it incorporates everything across the rock and metal spectrum and draws on the textures of jazz, folk, and easy listening with a mischievous smile. Verdict? 8 out of 10. Coming in at number 3 is The Seven Crowns by Swiss debutant Trance. They released it on the 20th of October via Hummus Records. It shares some parallels with Akakaki, yet you can see how Trance could become a black metal equivalent to what Voivod did to thrash metal when they took it apart and rebuilt it as an astral audio experience. And yet, you still be fuddled when the screeching robotic vocals of Silene emerge from an assault of syncopated guitars and fuzzy reverberations that dig into your collarbone. Discordant arpeggio patterns creep through the gaps in the low-end bludgeoning like prisoners burrowing through their walls in the secrecy of night. Perhaps there's a sense of humour underneath the avant-garde irony. Verdict? You guessed it. 8 out of 10. At number 2 is The Coral Tunes by German avant Doom Quartet, Ahab. They released it on the 13th of January via Napalm Records. 
The biggest mistake you can make is to assume this is a lethargic album for the niche fanbase of Funeral Doom. If anything, this is progressive metal. Of course, the band want you to breathe the cold ocean air, inhale the frozen water of the icebergs, and detect the wet pungency of giant squids. But you need a novel to create this sense of place. Instead, Daniel Droster's sinister growl vocals and malevolent drag of the palm muted guitars heighten your sense of danger. The extended riff passages and high register guitar melodies sparkle in the darkness of minor key progressions as if you'd ask Radiohead to cover a Mastodon album with Paul Bearer as the executive producers. Verdict? 9 out of 10. Which brings us to number 1. Drum roll please. At number 1 we have Alfeld by Hungarian legends Thy Catafalque. They released it on the 16th of June via Season of Mist. A miscegenation of contrasting musical styles is what Tamos Katoy does best. Thy Catafalque are leaders in the experimental metal field. They have no interest in continuing any legacy but their own, even if the chasm left by Celtic Frost and Edge of Sanity still feels like yesterday. The metal world needs new heroes. Let's start with Tomasz Katoy, the man who would rather die in obscurity than take one of the new pedestals beckoning him to glory. Verdict? 9 out of 10. Congratulations to Thy Catafalque for landing the number one spot. Let's also recognise the five honourable mentions that nearly made this list. Black Openings by Anatomy of Habit. Strange Aeons and Deliriums by Dean T. The Immenso Rise by Omnirod. Holocene by The Ocean. And Sutra by Yakuza. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and more importantly, please, visit our website at www.screamlashrepeat.com for the latest album and EP reviews from established, up-and-coming, and unsigned artists in the worlds of extreme metal prog and dark alternative.